Why do we sacrifice our health for wealth, only to spend that wealth to regain our health? Let's explore how the Dalai Lama's wisdom can help us live truly fulfilling lives today. Life is a precious gift, yet we often squander it. We chase after wealth and success. We sacrifice our health in the process. Then when our bodies fail us, we spend our hard-earned money trying to regain our health. It's a cruel irony. We miss the beauty of the present moment. We're always looking ahead, never truly living now. People work themselves to exhaustion. They neglect their families, their passions, their own well-being. They believe happiness lies in the future. They think, once I achieve this goal, then I'll be happy. But that moment never comes. There's always another goal, another milestone to reach. This pursuit is like trying to catch the horizon. No matter how fast we run, it always stays just out of reach. We forget that life is happening right now. Every breath, every heartbeat is a miracle. We can break free from this cycle. The rewards of living mindfully are beyond measure. The Dalai Lama once shared a profound insight. He said, man surprised me most about humanity because he sacrifices his health in order to make money. Then he sacrifices money to recuperate his health. These words cut to the heart of our modern dilemma. They reveal the absurdity of our priorities. We chase after wealth at the expense of our well-being. Then we use that wealth trying to regain what we've lost. This wisdom isn't new. Sages and philosophers have been sharing similar messages for centuries. Yet we struggle to heed their advice. We're caught in a cycle of desire and dissatisfaction. We believe that more is always better. More money, more success, more possessions. But at what cost? We pay with our time, our energy, our peace of mind. The Dalai Lama's words remind us to pause and reflect. What truly matters in life? Many of us are caught in the rat race. We wake up early, rush to work, and spend our days in a flurry of activity. We skip meals or eat unhealthy fast food. We sacrifice sleep to meet deadlines. We push our bodies to the limit, fueled by caffeine and stress. This is the modern way of life, but it comes at a great cost. Our health suffers. We develop chronic conditions like high blood pressure, diabetes, and heart disease. Our mental health deteriorates. Anxiety and depression become constant companions. We lose touch with our loved ones. Our relationships become strained. We miss important moments in our children's lives, all in the pursuit of some future goal that always seems just out of reach. The statistics are alarming. According to the World Health Organization, stress-related illnesses are on the rise globally. This is the true tragedy of the rat race. Let me tell you about Mark. He was a successful executive at a Fortune 500 company. He worked 80 hour weeks, traveled constantly and was always connected to his phone. His life was a whirlwind of meetings, deadlines and business trips. From the outside, it seemed like he had everything under control. Mark thought he had it all. A six-figure salary, a corner office and the respect of his peers. But something was missing. He couldn't remember the last time he had a good night's sleep. His relationships were strained. He barely knew his own children. The constant pressure and lack of personal time were taking a toll on his mental and physical health. One day, during a high-stakes presentation, Mark collapsed. He woke up in the hospital, diagnosed with severe exhaustion and dangerously high blood pressure. The stress had finally caught up with him and his body could no longer keep up with the relentless pace. The doctor's words were a wake-up call. If you don't change your lifestyle, you won't live to see your children graduate. Those words echoed in Mark's mind. He realized that he had been sacrificing his well-being for his career, 
and it was time to make a change. Mark was shocked. He had been so focused on climbing the corporate ladder that he had neglected his health and happiness. The realization hit him hard. He had been living to work, not working to live. This health scare forced Mark to reevaluate his priorities. He realized that all his success meant nothing if he wasn't around to enjoy it. He started to think about what truly mattered in life, his family, his health, and his happiness. Mark's story is not unique. Many people find themselves in a similar situation, caught in the rat race and losing sight of what really matters. It's important to take a step back and assess your life. Are you living to work or working to live? Mark's wake-up call serves as a reminder that success is not just about professional achievements, but also about personal well-being and fulfillment. Mark's journey to mindfulness began slowly. At first, he was skeptical. He thought meditation and mindfulness were for hippies and new age enthusiasts. But desperate for change, he decided to give it a try. I started with just five minutes of meditation each morning. It was hard at first. My mind raced with thoughts of work and worries, but I persisted. Gradually, Mark began to notice changes. He felt calmer throughout the day. He was able to focus better at work. He found himself enjoying simple moments with his family. These small victories encouraged him to deepen his practice. I extended my meditation time. I started practicing mindful eating, savoring each bite instead of rushing through meals. As Mark's mindfulness practice grew, so did his awareness of his thoughts and emotions. He began to notice patterns in his behavior. He saw how his drive for success was rooted in fear and insecurity. This awareness allowed him to make conscious choices. Living in the present moment is a simple concept, yet it's profoundly challenging. In the hustle and bustle of our daily lives, it's easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of thoughts and emotions. Our minds are constantly pulled to the past or the future. We often find ourselves reminiscing about past glories or regretting missed opportunities. We replay old conversations or worry about upcoming events. The anxiety of what might happen next can be overwhelming. But life only happens in the now. The present moment is where we truly exist, where we can make real changes and experience genuine joy. Every breath, every heartbeat, every sensation occurs in this moment. It's in these small, seemingly insignificant details that life unfolds. When we're lost in thought, we miss the richness of our current experience. The beauty of the present moment slips away unnoticed. Embracing the present moment doesn't mean ignoring the future or forgetting the past. It means finding a balance, acknowledging our past and planning for the future while fully engaging with the present. It means giving our full attention to what's happening right now. This focus can enhance our performance and deepen our experiences. It means listening fully when someone speaks to us. Genuine listening fosters better communication and stronger relationships. It means noticing the taste and texture of our food as we eat. Savoring each bite can turn a simple meal into a delightful experience. It means feeling the sensation of our feet touching the ground as we walk. This grounding practice can bring a sense of stability and peace. These simple acts bring us into direct contact with life. They remind us of the beauty and immediacy of the present moment. The benefits of living in the present are numerous. By grounding ourselves in the now, we open ourselves up to a world of possibilities. We experience less stress and anxiety. The weight of past regrets and future worries lifts, leaving us lighter and more at peace. Our relationships improve as we become better listeners. Being present allows us to connect more deeply with others. We find more joy in simple activities. The small moments often overlooked become sources of happiness and contentment. The power of mindful breathing. Breath is life. It's the essence of our existence, the invisible thread that connects us to the world around us. It's the first thing we do when we're born and the last thing we do when we die. From our first cry to our final sigh, breath is our constant companion, yet we rarely pay attention to our breath. 
In the hustle and bustle of daily life, it's easy to overlook this fundamental aspect of our being. It happens automatically, without conscious effort. Our bodies are designed to breathe without us having to think about it. But when we bring our awareness to our breath, something magical happens. We begin to notice the subtle nuances of each inhale and exhale. We connect with the present moment in a profound way. Each breath becomes a bridge to the here and now, grounding us in reality. We tap into a source of calm and clarity that's always available to us. This inner reservoir of peace can be accessed anytime, anywhere. Mindful breathing is simple yet powerful. It's a practice that anyone can do regardless of age or experience. It involves focusing our attention on the sensation of breath moving in and out of our body. This focused attention can transform our experience of the present moment. We notice the rise and fall of our chest or abdomen. Each movement becomes a reminder of our connection to life. We feel the air moving through our nostrils. The coolness of the inhale and the warmth of the exhale become vivid sensations. We observe the natural rhythm of our breath without trying to change it. This non-judgmental observation fosters a sense of acceptance and peace. This simple act anchors us in the present moment. It serves as a gentle reminder that we are alive here and now. The benefits of mindful breathing are well documented. It's a practice that has been embraced by cultures and traditions around the world for centuries. It reduces stress and anxiety. By calming the mind, it helps us navigate the challenges of life with greater ease. It lowers blood pressure and heart rate. This physiological response promotes overall health and well-being. It improves focus and concentration. By training our attention on the breath, we enhance our ability to concentrate on other tasks. It helps us regulate our emotions. Mindful breathing creates a space between stimulus and response, allowing us to choose our reactions more wisely. In moments of stress or overwhelm, a few mindful breaths can help us regain our composure. It's a tool we can rely on to bring balance and harmony into our lives. Nourishing body and soul. Our bodies are incredible machines. They work tirelessly to keep us alive and healthy. Yet we often take them for granted. We fuel them with junk food, deprive them of sleep and push them to their limits. Then we wonder why we feel tired, stressed and unhealthy. To live fully in the present, we must nourish our bodies with care and attention. Mindful eating is a powerful way to nourish our bodies and connect with the present moment. It involves paying full attention to the experience of eating. We notice the colors, smells and textures of our food. We chew slowly, savoring each bite. We listen to our body's signals of hunger and fullness. This practice not only improves digestion, but also enhances our enjoyment of food. Exercise is another crucial aspect of nourishing our bodies, but it's not just about burning calories or building muscle. Cultivating Gratitude Gratitude is a powerful antidote to dissatisfaction. It shifts our focus from what we lack to what we have. In doing so, it brings us firmly into the present moment. When we're grateful, we're not dwelling on past regrets or future worries. We're appreciating what is right here, right now. This simple shift in perspective can transform our entire experience of life. Practicing gratitude doesn't mean ignoring life's challenges. It's not about forced positivity or denying our feelings. Instead, it's about recognizing the good that exists alongside the difficulties. It's about acknowledging the small blessings we often overlook. The warmth of sunlight on our skin, the kindness of a stranger, the comfort of a warm bed. When we pay attention, we find countless reasons to be grateful. Research has shown that cultivating gratitude has numerous benefits. It improves mental health, reducing symptoms of depression and anxiety. Finding balance in chaos. Life can be chaotic. We're bombarded with information, demands and distractions. It's easy to feel overwhelmed and lose our center. But even in the midst of chaos, we can find balance. It's not about controlling our external circumstances. It's about cultivating inner stability. 
It's about staying grounded in the present moment, regardless of what's happening around us. Finding balance starts with setting boundaries. We need to learn to say no to things that drain our energy and yes to things that nourish us. This might mean limiting our exposure to news and social media. It might mean carving out time for self-care and reflection. It's about prioritizing what truly matters and letting go of the rest. When we set healthy boundaries, we create space for presence and peace. Always remember, don't live as if you're never going to die. Start living fully, now. Take a moment today to appreciate the present. Share this video with someone who needs to hear this message. And let's start living life as it's meant to be lived. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more content.